네, 안녕하십니까. 공과대학 화학공학부 홍창국입니다. 제 연구 분야는 주로 에너지 소재라든가 고분자 소재 쪽에 연구를 하고 있고요. 에너지 분야의 소재들은 어, 요즘 인기 있는 태양전지, 2차전지 등에 관한 소재들을 연구하고 있고요. 그리고 고분자 소재는 나노복합 소재나 고무에 대한 그런 분야들에 대한 연구를 진행하고 있습니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 사원다 박사입니다. Only that, that much I can speak in Korean. And uh, myself, Dr. Sawan Tamari from India. I'm working in Chunnam National University at School of Chemical Engineering with Professor Hong from 2012. My major field of research is perovskite solar cell. And uh, we are working from last 11 years on the same subject that we are trying to improve our efficiency from 0% to 24%. 네, 이번 연구는 어, 차세대 태양전지인 페로브스카이 태양전지에 관한 내용입니다. 어, 페로브스카이 태양전지는 지금 현재 그 주로 많이 사용되고 있는 실리콘 태양전지를 대체할 수 있는 태양전지이고요. 어, 페로브스카이 태양전지는 저가이고 고효율이기 때문에 뭐 지금 에너지 제로 도시라든가 에너지 제로 빌딩이라든가 이런 쪽에 주로 많이 사용되고 있는 차세대 태양전지입니다. 그리고 이번에 지금 네이처 에너지에 지금 소개된 저 연구 내용들은 페로브스카이 태양전지의 새로운 구조를 저희가 만들었고요. 이제 페이스 헤테로정션 구조를 만들어서 어 이게 세계 최초로 저희가 발견을 한 거고 이러한 구조를 이용해서 지금 무기 페로브스카이트 태양전지 분야에서는 지금 세계 최고의 효율을 저희가 보고를 했습니다. 그래서 이런 연구를 통해서 아마도 이제 차세대 이제 신재생 에너지 분야인 태양전지 분야에서 이런 개념들이 주로 앞으로 계속해서 사용될 거라고 생각하고 있습니다. Actually, we have a lot of memories <laughs> about uh, this perovskite uh, solar cell and specifically photovoltaic solar cell, photovoltaic uh, research area. Actually, uh, I tried this paper, uh, public, uh, getting the publication in Nature Energy in 2019. But somehow uh, we failed. Actually, uh, we submitted our paper to the Nature Energy and uh, it, it went for the external review, but uh, we got uh, a review comment from two experts and that was really interesting. And uh, we, we analyzed all comments and we felt that uh, we, are, we have some uh, difficulties or we have some drawbacks that we have to improve ourselves first and then we can go for the higher impact factor journals. Actually, being a researcher and I have very good experience more than 15 years in the photovoltaics, publishing the small papers or publishing low impact factor journal, I'm not discriminating all journals, but publishing the good papers is really difficult. And publishing the small papers, uh, having small impact factor is very easy. So we started to dig, dig into the perovskite research more, more and more, and we found that what are our difficulties, what are our drawbacks, how we have to represent our data, how we can implement our own idea in the perovskite or in the photovoltaic. So we uh, decided to implement some novel idea in the perovskite. So uh, we try to uh, make or we try to stack two phases to each other like it's a, it's a kind of the twin and you know very well the twin even they are twin twin baby but they have different characteristics or their personality is different so we we think about the nature and we try to implement these two perovskite phases together and try to uh, record its its uh, device performance and from that we figure out that it is something new we can we can improve as well as uh, improve the efficiency as well as the stability of the perovskite uh, solar cell and then uh, in uh, 2020 22 we submitted uh, this paper 
to the same journal, Nature Energy, the same journal. And fortunately, that went for the external review. And this time, we got three reviewers comment, but editor asked us, please revise uh, the uh, revise your paper. So that was really, really, how you can say, exciting news for our group. Ah, the Nature Energy came for the revision and we got the, uh, three experts comment. So I uh, we decided, I discussed uh, all comments, what they are talking about, what they, uh, they've pointed out the, our mistakes or our uh, drawbacks in that paper or uh, they are they asked for the additional uh, experiment so from the comments I figure out that and uh, with the professor discussion I figure out that uh, when you are doing any kind of research please check its uh, flexibility that means you have to look at the subject more broadly because one of the reviewer he asked me uh, why you are using only inorganic perovskite i mean uh, of course this interview for the normal people general people but uh, in for the uh, science faculty students or faculty members they maybe know about this so why you are using only two phases and they are stacking together why not using another composition because perovskite material is a really vast area and you have to focus on a particular point. So reviewer asked us why you are only uh, talking about the inorganic, why not other perovskite like hybrid perovskite. So that time we figured out, ah, we have to focus on the our research more broadly. And from that we pointed out uh, what are our drawbacks and we implemented the that concept in the inorganic organic hybrid perovskite that is one of the point and uh, second point that was also very interesting uh, actually one of the second reviewer actually second expert she asked us uh, although you are you are depositing or you are fabricating two layers together but how you will prove that concept so Fortunately, our university has a state-of-art facility. So I, I took a help from the CCRA and uh, we got uh, some GI XRD analysis. Like we can, in, uh, we can analyze the two phases in a single sample with the help of different incident angle analysis. And from that, we got, ah, okay, there are two phases are present in the same sample. So that means whenever you are writing any paper, so think about whatever you are representing in your research article, you have to think about how you can prove it scientifically. That is most important. That two things I personally learned from this paper.